Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The British Army's decision to enhance its mortar and missile capabilities reflects a strategic shift towards increased firepower and cost efficiency. Transitioning from the 81mm mortars to the more powerful 120mm mortar systems is aimed at boosting ground-based mortar firepower while managing expenses wisely. The replacement of the 81mm L16 mortars with the new 120mm mortar system signifies an upgrade to superior firepower. The L16 mortars, known for their precision and versatility, have been vital in delivering explosive, smoke, and illuminating rounds. However, the new 120mm mortar system is expected to offer enhanced capabilities with a longer range, typically ranging from 7.2 to 9.5 kilometers, and aligns the British Army with NATO standards. This initiative not only enhances interoperability with NATO allies but also underscores the importance of modernizing military capabilities to meet contemporary defense challenges. While the specific model of the 120mm mortar system remains undisclosed, its adoption represents a significant step forward for the British Army's indirect fire weapon systems. Furthermore, the decision to utilize cost-effective 70mm rockets as an alternative to the more expensive Brimstone anti-armor missiles reflects a pragmatic approach to defense procurement. While Brimstone missiles offer significant capability, the shift towards more economical options allows for a balance between effectiveness and cost efficiency. The L-16 mortar, with its rich service history and technical specifications, has been a crucial asset on the battlefield. Its adaptability and reliability have been demonstrated in various conflicts across the globe, showcasing its effectiveness in providing indirect fire support. These adjustments are part of a broader reform aimed at streamlining the UK's defense procurement process and maintaining military readiness without incurring high costs. By focusing on delivering systems that achieve a significant portion of their potential up front and opting for off-the-shelf solutions, the UK aims to expedite deployment and facilitate further improvements in its military capabilities. That's all for now. See you later.